This crossbow right here, like I said, for $230, came with the rope caulker. Just, I mean, it's actually not really anything crazy, just a rope caulker. Comes with a little bit of chapstick for your bow. It's good to lube her up. Comes with the scope. And I don't have the bolts that come with it, but it comes with three hyperlite bolts, which with the 100 grain broadhead weighs 370. The crossbow that's shooting over 400 feet per second or supposed to or whatever, you definitely shouldn't be shooting that light of a bolt out of it. It's just gonna do damage to your limbs and you're just asking for them to break. So, you know, money-wise, we went with the Powell drivers. I believe these are the 20 inch, and I think they're 420 grains. With the um, 100 grain 10 point center punch broadhead, that's a freaking meat missile, dude. This bow is just real nice and light. It's only seven pounds. Caulked, it's only 14 inches wide, 18 inches uncaulked. Got the dead silence kit to lessen up the noise and the vibration. I've only had this crossbow for a couple months now. I got it late last season, towards the end of the season, um, in December. I haven't shot the thing 20 times. We got it sighted in to, to 20 yards. I'm kind of confused about though, it, the scope, it changes colors from, what colors they change, Chris? Um, red, blue, let me see. Mine doesn't light up or do any of that. So I have a different scope. And I don't know if you can see, where the, it holds the arrow down right there. Mine's kind of like a the brush type deal. Chris's is the normal one that I've seen on most of the other uh, Lethal 405s. Now, the quiver is probably my least favorite part of the entire thing. There's a giant piece of foam down in here that literally stuck up at the top. So your arrows would literally be sitting, you know, your broadheads would be sticking out like that. So what I did was just pull it out, cut it down and put it back in but yeah I mean I'm gonna get a new quiver anyways just because also another addition to uh, a crossbow is the single point sling this thing's really good for you know walking in the woods um, even helps you aim a little bit if it's tight to your body this is definitely a good investment I would definitely definitely recommend getting the uh, single point sling we're gonna shoot these crossbows and See how accurate we can get them down range. We'll see you guys outside. Few things I forgot to mention downstairs. This rope caulker is right back here in the butt of the crossbow. There's a little crease back here. You want these facing down, not towards you. These are adjusted towards me, so they're kind of like tight. You can kind of loosen them up. Only thing I don't like about this thing is it's real loud. And also, this thing's got a an automatic safety. So when you pull it back, it's got to be on fire. And then once it's caulked. It's got the anti-dry fire thing going on in it, so you can't shoot it unless there's a arrow in here. Uh, arrow back as safe as you possibly can. Ooh. Automatic safety for exactly what I just said. About Robin Hooded, uh, Chris's bolt. Same grouping at 20 yards. Like I said, we had these, these oh, sighted in a little bit. Yeah. Sighted in already a little bit at 20 yards. But. Which, which one size is Chris? I'd go top left. Top left. Bingo. Ooh. Smoked him. I believe he'd be dead. I mean, it's right there, 20 yards, basically. The other one would have hit, what, right here? That's a 
grouping at 20 yards right there in bullseye. So quick release, boom, you're ready to go home.